Hi guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. We're going to be working on our final render of the beer glass. Um, so you're going to end up with something that looks like this. It's by no means kind of perfect. Um, like I said, these tutorials just give you brief introductions and overviews. Um, so what I am doing is grabbing the background emitter and scaling it down. So we've got a bit more of that vignette coming into view. And then I'm going to grab hold of the camera. I'm going to move that back a little bit. Move it back a little bit more. Okay, then we will increase the focal length of the camera. And I'm going to move it back a little bit and vertically a little bit okay it's a rendered view right um, okay next thing then is bring up the node editor do node editor and we're going to select our lacing texture and I want to add a little bit of transparency to it At the moment it's uh, a little bit too painted on so we'll add a transparent modifier there and we're going to add in another mix shader We'll go in between those, we'll mix those together. And now by adjusting this, we can choose how transparent our throth is going to be. So I'm gonna make it around 0.6 so that it's got a little bit more transparency to it. Okay. Now, um, We've got this kind of white line that you can see over here on the left, which I want to try and get rid of. I think it's something to do with our texturing and UV mapping. So I'm going to go into the um, image, go to our beer lacing, and make sure we've got our lacing object selected, tab into edit mode. Now, if I move this around, we should find that our little white line that we had kind of vanishes. It'll move around to the back side of the glass. There must be a little white line somewhere here on the texture or something which is being used. Um, so we can do Select all these, and I'm going to scale a little bit on the Y, and then move it down a little bit on the Y. Let's see how that looks. Okay, because we've got bits of throth here which seem to be sitting below the the froth line, so this lacing wouldn't actually be where the liquid is, of course. So. I'm just going to make sure that everything is sitting above the liquid line, the, the kind of beer line. Yeah, we need to go in the opposite direction. Let's see how that looks. Okay. That is looking good. Just going to move up a little bit more yeah okay I'm happy with that so once you've made your little tweaks um, it's time to do the rendering so we come over to render and 
We want to make sure in our sampling that we have final selected. Make sure that you select final so that your rendering samples will increase. The higher the number of samples, the longer it will take to render, but the better quality and smoother your final render will be. So now we're good to go. We can just hit the render button and it will begin to render. So that's going to take a few minutes to do. So I'm just going to pause and we'll be back in a few moments. Now with our rendered drawing um, image, um, you can see now uh, the difference between the first one that I did, which is here, and this one. You can see the foam there is, is looking a little bit unrealistic. It looks like too harsh. It's, it's much more um, faint here. It looks more realistic, um, more bubble-like, a um, little bit more translucent. So that is um, how we uh, basically set up a, a rendering for a scene. So over the previous few tutorials, you've seen how to um, model the glass, we've modeled the liquid, we've modeled the foam, and we've um, created the various materials such as the glass, the reflective materials for the bottom, we've created light emitting materials to light the scene, we've added environmental maps, and we've looked at the node editor and how we can begin to use that to um, build textures here within Blender. So we've covered quite a lot in these um, short blasters of tutorials. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time for more tutorials from Final Cut Pro and Blender.